we're still under the social distancing protocol where we don't need to be around a lot of people. Today's adventure, though, is going to take us down into the state of Florida. right in the middle of spring break and this coronavirus has completely uprooted everything so today I have come down to Panama City Beach Florida we've been right here many times at Pier Park and we're gonna see how everything's been completely uprooted due to COVID-19 this is what it looks like when you're trying to get into the public beach access COVID-19 alert. Due to COVID-19, the sandy beaches and all public beach accesses are closed. Effective 7 p.m. March 20th. No congregating in groups larger than 10 and please maintain a six foot distance from other parties. And every beach access has this up blocking you from getting in. And then the flags are red, no access. It's a sad day. There's still some traffic out here, but in uh, the times we've been here in the past, you know, it would be a line of cars nonstop, especially coming out of the Pier Park there. We'll go over there into Pier Park in a minute and see what it looks like. But for spring break, everything's locked up. It appears though you can still get out on the pier as long as you follow the six foot spacing mandatory. The last couple of videos that I've done from Panama City Beach, this was the beach where I was filming at. Now, as I said, right in the middle of spring break, it's empty. No one's allowed on the beach unless you own property. If you own beachfront property you can come out onto the beach but that's it look at how empty it is it looks pretty gnarly down the other end of the beach there is that rain look at how far back the beach is right now All the seaweed there's a strong breeze blowing on me so if you hear wind I apologize I, I was in Panama City quite a bit last year and that's because Amy's assignment was in Dothan so and it, it's not that far from here um, I've spent a lot of time here and it's it's really sad to see that there's no one here and it's spring break they are allowing fishing but you have to keep that six foot minimum distance from each other the purpose of coming here today is because Panama City Beach relies on spring break and summer vacationers tourists people coming to enjoy the beach from out of town it relies on that to stay afloat well we're right in the middle of spring break and no one's allowed to be on the beach so I thought it would be a good idea to ride down here and just see how everything shut down it appears that the water has a strong current today it's really choppy so today, while we're here, we're going to ride down uh, Front Beach Road. Probably get out down where the old Shipwreck Island is and get out in a couple of places and just see that how 
take it in that everything's completely abandoned and empty. When we were out at the very end of the pier, we were 1,500 feet out over the ocean. And think about it, that's crazy. And uh, this COVID-19 has interrupted everything so much. You know, these beaches are never closed. They're open 365 days a year. Rain, sun, shine, cold in the middle of winter. You can come out onto the beach. Now, you know, you may not want to get in the water, but you could come out on the beach during freezing cold, it, during a hurricane. You could be out on the beach if you wanted. They're, they never close. They are open 365 days a year, but because of COVID-19, public beach accesses have closed. Pier Park is locked down over there. No restaurants, nothing. Uh, this is Pier Park. Remember, we've been here quite a few times. Look at this place now. Nothing. I don't even think these any of these stores or restaurants are even open. Here's the sky wheel. It's closed. As we drive down the road, I want you to look and notice all these places the parking lots are empty no one's here There was a boat. Okay, so we were riding down the road and I just happened to look out of the corner of my eye and see there was a boat. It was sinking. Here it is right here. It must have just happened because we saw them getting onto another boat from that one and then they carried them off in this direction over here. I don't know where they were going. Now, I think the boat is on the bottom now. I think it's pretty shallow water there, and that's about as far as it can go. But it's incredible. I've never seen a boat sink before. I'm glad no one was hurt, but it was still kind of cool to see, and I hate it for them. You know, I don't know how they're going to be able to get it unsunk, get it back out of there. There's also... There's also another boat over here that's come ashore. Now, I don't know how it got up here, but it's still kind of cool to see as well. I guess the only upside to Panama City Beach being completely empty for this uh, spring break, it gives them a little more time to finish repairing constructions from Hurricane Michael and stuff. All these restaurants that would normally be completely slam packed people, full people are all room. shut down and it, it looks like all all of these t-shirt shops are open but they're all empty there's nobody there at them these uh scooter and uh, golf cart rental places are open but very few rentals. sensations is open but there's nothing going on ripley's believe it or not and wonderworks or yeah. both yeah, shut down. Right it's just absolutely incredible to me to see the beach is completely empty. And then, and then we have Shipwreck Island. And what's really hard about all of it is these businesses, the hotels, the restaurants, stuff like this water park all of them they rely on spring break and summer to make their operating cost for the entire year because obviously during the winter they don't get that much business and well even places like this water park is completely closed during the winter so 
what are they gonna do? How are they gonna make it if this thing goes into summer and they have to stay shut down? How are these businesses gonna be able to survive the rest of the year otherwise? There's no water in the pools. Looks like they took the time to repaint some of their slides here. I've got footage of us coming down, of me coming down that slide on GoPro. Any other year, this place, it wouldn't be green water with trash and gunk all down in there. It would be fresh, clean water with hundreds and hundreds of people floating around, having a good time with their families. We're on the lazy river. This hotel that's here in front of us used to be an observation tower and they blew it up quite a few years ago now. There, there's still people who are acting like this is no big deal and they're not doing the social distancing, they're not they're not doing what's being asked because they just think it's a, a fraud and they think it's no, it's not real or not as dangerous as they're saying it is. But look at how many people have died. And look how many people have been infected. It's most certainly real. And the sooner that everybody starts following the protocols and doing what they say is the sooner we can stop this thing and Panama City Beach can open back up. But for now, it's dead here. It's, there's nothing going on. Nobody on the beaches. None of the restaurants are open. None of the nightclubs. Nothing is open here. And it's a shame because, once again, it's spring break. This place would normally be packed. Packed. You couldn't stir this place with a stick. It was so packed right now but there's nothing that's gonna do it for this one i am gonna head back to my homestead and get back inside and uh social distance myself again thank you all so much for watching if you want to help support the channel check out the links down in the description box below not only is it a big help but it helps keep the wheels a turning helps keep us going but make sure you're doing what they say so we can beat this thing and hurry up and get this place open again. I'll see you again tomorrow, and I hope you all have a great day.